All right, so as the temperatures continue to rise, local shelters are opening to help those most in need. The City Rescue Mission's Extreme Heat Shelter opens this afternoon. It will stay open through September. News for Jack's reporter Ashley Harding joins us live this morning, month. And Ashley, the shelter says it's prepared to take in an additional 100 people when it gets this hot. Yes, it is, Bruce, and you can already start to feel that heat, but food, water, and showers will be made available today, starting today. Now, people can check in every afternoon at 1.30 at the Mission's New Life Inn that's on West State Street. However, with temperatures continuing to rise, the heat is dangerous for everybody. That's why people need to stay hydrated. Do not wait until you're thirsty to drink water. Also, look at this right here. The very old, the very young, and people with chronic medical conditions are most vulnerable to heat-related illnesses they should stay indoors also big reminder do not leave children or pets in parked cars even if the windows are cracked open always wear sunscreen with an spf 15 or higher also wear lightweight and light colored clothing now looking at symptoms of heat exhaustion that includes heavy sweating extreme weakness or fatigue dizziness nausea clammy, moist skin, elevated body temperature, and fast and shallow breathing. Now, symptoms of heat stroke include extremely high body temperature above 106 degrees, also profuse sweating, hallucinations, chills, throbbing headache, dizziness, and slurred speech. Now, if you do need to work outside, you need to take regular, frequent breaks. We've also posted this information on newsforjax.com, as well as that information on the City Rescue Mission. Reporting live this morning, Ashley Harding, Channel 4, The Local Station.